I got into photography when I was about 14. I knew that that was something that I would keep with me for the rest of my life. In those days, back in the 70s when I was growing up, it was like get a job in a bank or go and work for a large corporate company. And I thought, well, you only live once. Why spend your time working in areas that you're not enjoying? It's not just about chasing the dollar. There's more to life than that. And that's when I started pushing myself to become a photographer. When you look at my work in detail, you start to discover things within everyday objects that you didn't realise were there. X-ray as a process shows an object without things that the human eye sees, which is the reflected light of the surface. It shows an object from the inside out. It shows the mechanical workings of an object. And in my opinion, X-ray has integrity and honesty because it shows things for what they really are. OK, so I'm going to set up two X-ray running sneakers. I've put pills inside the shoes, sort of a, a project I'm doing based around athletes who cheat. This room is uh, the room that contains the dangerous stuff, the, the radiation. Heavy duty radiation comes out of this hole. When I do the x-rays, I come out of this room and go on the other side and shut the lead door. The door is made of lead and steel, weighs 1,250 kilograms, and then it's completely safe. The x-rays are now running, and uh, for this exposure, it's counting down from two minutes. That's about the right uh, amount of time to x-ray those running shoes. The thicker the object, the more radiation you need. So the brightest thing are the spikes, because they're metal. We're not really getting enough radiation to get inside those, but the balance of the whole thing, I really like it, because they sort of jump out. We've got something very, very delicate. I actually allow it to x-ray for maybe 15, 17 minutes, but just have a very, very tiny amount of radiation. So it just dribbles out, so you get really lovely tonal detail. I experiment and try different exposures, different distances, different films, just like any other photographer would. X-ray is a spectrum of light in its own right. It's just invisible to the human eye. The limiting factor for me is the size of film. The largest piece of film is about that big, 14 by 17 inches. So if the object doesn't fit within a 14 by 17 inch area, we then need to use more than one film. When the X-rays are overlapped, they're processed individually and then scanned, and then we bring them together. It's like bringing together the pieces of a jigsaw puzzle and we x-ray every element in isolation so that you see information all the way through. And it's all in the same plane, you're looking right through that. It is technically possible to x-ray through all that lot in one go, but it just creates visual mess. By taking it apart and do it bit by bit, it gives it a three-dimensional effect. This is cyanotype solution. I'm painting onto uh, Archie's platine paper. So we lay the x-ray on the top, and then the daylight passes through the x-ray and makes the image on the film. I can't control whether people understand the meaning when they look at the work on the wall of a gallery, but before I decide to show it, there's a meaning there for me. When I first started out, I would just pick anything up and x-ray it just because it looked cool and interesting, and that's how I developed the technique. But now I'm trying to be a bit more refined and selective in, in not just what I show, but what I do, because time is limited. A lot of people look at my work and criticise me for being a one-trick pony, and I think that's fair. But I'm happy with that. I just want to keep getting better and better and better at working with x-rays. That may sound quite limiting, but the actual taking of the x-ray is just part of the producing of the artwork. And having those constraints, you know, it does, it does sort of drive you on. If everything's laid out in front of you and it's so easy, you don't really appreciate any achievements either. I'd like to leave behind a collection of images where people look at them and say, wow, I didn't realise you could do so much with an X-ray camera. Everybody in the, who's successful in the creative world 
has to go through a phase in their life where they become, become obsessive about what they do. Now I balance that because I've got kids, my kids keep me grounded. I'm 52 now, life's rushing past me. I didn't realise how much it speeds up as you get older. And there are so many things I want to do with each day. What makes us truly happy really is inner contentment and love, and you get that from being with someone that you really care for, whether it's your family or your partner. And because my work is all about looking beyond the surface of the subject, it's a direct metaphor for what I think are the most important things in life.